In seven years of being on YouTube, I've never made a video like this. In about 30 seconds, you'll know exactly what I mean. This five-step life transformation framework that I'm gonna go through in this video completely changed my life. 10 years ago, I was unmotivated, I was unproductive, I had no real direction in my life. I had a part-time job doing the night shift, stacking shelves at a supermarket. It wasn't until about 2013 that I made a commitment that I'm not going to continue just letting life pass me by and I'm going to actually make something out of my life. And that's exactly what I did. Fast forward to today, I'm now living on the other side of the world, running two businesses, motivating millions of people around the world. I'm literally living my dream life. So in this video, I'm gonna go through step by step how I made my own life transformation and climbed out of the kind of uninspired, unproductive trap that I was in. But, and this is why this video is different to all the other more than 500 YouTube videos I've made on this channel, I'm going to essentially take your hand and help you design your life transformation process. I've made a game plan template so you can go through the steps yourself and I filmed a private video walking you through each step and I'll give you that all at the end of this video because with this video I want you to actually take action, to actually upgrade your life. But before we get to that, it's important that we talk about the myth of one size fits all. This is what I really dislike most about personal development videos or just life advice in general is that everywhere you look, there's a new system, there's a new technique, there's a new tool claiming to be the end all be all solution to help you be more productive and transform your life. And yes, they might be helpful to some extent, but here's the problem. Life isn't one size fits all. It's like I tried changing my morning routine and I tried stuffing in as many personal development hacks as I could, yoga, meditation, language learning, journaling, but they didn't work for me. So now my morning routine is literally this. I wake up at 6 a.m. and I aim to be walking out of the door, heading to the office within 30 minutes of waking up and I start my deep work session as soon as possible. And that's literally my morning routine because that works for me. Adding yoga, adding meditation and other admittedly healthy habits first thing in the morning would just kind of get in the way of me starting my work day and being productive. And this is important. Your five step life transformation game plan needs to be your game plan, not a productivity YouTuber's game plan, not a celebrity's game plan, not a podcaster that has a million subscribers game plan. And that's why very shortly you'll be designing your own custom life game plan. Now that that's out of the way, before we get to the framework, the second thing that's important to understand is the information action paradox. And I see this all the time with people not taking action because of overthinking. Because the more information we have, the more options there are to take, the harder it is to make a decision and actually take action. So trying to figure out the kind of perfect system can often paralyze us. And what if you could start with something simple that you could come up with on your own and then learn to change the system as you go? Elon Musk calls it the feedback loop where you choose the action you're going to take to upgrade in your life, then you perform that action and then you analyze it to see whether it works and then you continuously keep tweaking your actions. Overthinking and overwhelm is a massive obstacle when it comes to actually feeling stuck in life. And that's where Sunsama comes in. So Sunsama is a digital daily planner that helps you feel calm and stay focused. It basically prompts you to plan your day every day before you start work. So you're more kind of intentional about the task that you're carrying out. And Sunsama actually cares about your mental well-being. It will give you overload alerts if you plan more than seven to eight hours of work to kind of encourage you to push some of those non-essential tasks to the next day. The values of Sunsama and this channel match up perfectly, which is why I partnered with them for this video. Sunsama also has a focus mode, which helps you focus on just the tasks for today and prevents any distractions from 
on popping up. Super important in a hyper-connected world. Sunsama also pulls in tasks from everywhere in one place to help stay organized. I just look at my task list for the day and plan my day accordingly. And if you can relate to having your tasks all over the place and being overwhelmed with all there is to do in a day, then this feature could be super important to you. And just on a side note, their website and their desktop app is genuinely one of the most aesthetically designed apps I've ever used. So you can try Sunsama out for free and you don't even have to put in your credit card. I really suggest you do. I'll drop a link in the description below. The evolution of productivity. So YouTube productivity videos are very different now than they were a few years ago. If you loaded a video on the top five productivity tips seven or eight years ago, it would probably get hundreds of thousands of views. If you uploaded that same video on YouTube today, it would probably fall flat on its face because the field of productivity has evolved very quickly because productivity is not about information anymore. You know how to be productive. You know how to turn your life around. It's kind of a, a solved equation, if you like. The problem now is actually taking action, is doing something about it. And that's why this video, this framework, is all about taking action. One of the main reasons why I was able to turn my own life around relatively quickly was because I made videos on how to do exactly that. And my videos are just my own advice for myself, what works for me. So New York Times bestseller author Austin Kleon said, it's one of my theories that when people give you advice, they're really just talking to themselves in the past. It's the fact that I'm constantly thinking about personal development and growth and trying to solve problems on how to become a better person and then taking action. Yes, it is helpful to see what works for other people, but at the end of the day, everyone is different. And it's not just about consuming other people's content, it's about targeted learning, identifying a specific problem and focusing solely on resources and advice that will help you solve that specific problem. It's not about endless YouTube consumption because too much content consumption on personal development, particularly YouTube videos, means it gets too noisy. You can't listen to yourself and know what you want. Your life transformational framework should evolve with you. It's not about finding a perfect system to stick with forever. As your life changes, your approach should also. It's kind of like a doctor is constantly checking with a patient's vitals and adapting to the situation. Your system is the same. And this means regularly checking in with yourself and adapting your system and your framework. So start with something simple and then it will kind of grow as you go. So now that that's out of the way, this is the five step life transformation framework that I use to turn my life around and what you can use right now so that you don't have to watch another productivity YouTube video again. Yes, I know I'm putting myself out of business, but that should be the goal of every coach to work yourself out of your client's life so you don't need them anymore. This is the framework that I used and still use to this day. It's a five step process with the first step being to capture. And this is where you write down, basically brain dump, all the aspects in your life you want to upgrade. And you can organize these into four pillars, health, wealth, people, and happiness. So some examples here are maybe you want to lose weight or run a marathon, or maybe you want to find your dream career. Everything you can think of, just dump it here. Step two is creating a plan. So what goals do you want to achieve and how are you going to achieve them? So it's like maybe your goal is to write a book then your action plan could be to write 500 words a day for the next two months. Or if you want to graduate with a 4.0 GPA, then your action plan could be to study eight hours a day and essentially treat university like a full-time job, working from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. The important thing here is that you're choosing one thing in your life that will move the needle more than anything else. That is very important. Step three is to commit and schedule. And this is where you record your progress, whether it's on pen and paper or using a habit tracker or even using a simple Excel spreadsheet. Step four is my favorite step. That's where you celebrate after hitting a milestone. It doesn't matter if it's a big or small milestone, celebrating reinforces 
positive momentum. This could be having a spa day, it could be having a weekend away, or having a movie night, or literally just having a full day off. Step five is the reflection stage where you keep making incremental improvement because this whole framework is just one big feedback loop where you take action to upgrade your life, you reflect on the results of those actions, and then you make small tweaks to improve the results. And it's a continuous, never ending cycle. And what I will do is drop a link in the description to this very framework so you can follow through each step yourself. And I'll also I add a Loom video where I explain each step in each detail and you can kind of follow along with me. And if you are ready to take action and significantly improve your life, don't procrastinate on this. You can use Mel Robbins's five second rule, basically counting five, four, three, two, one, go, and then head over to the links in the description to design your own life game plan. At the end of the day, if you live until you're 90, you have 4,680 weeks to live. And if you're already, let's say, 20 years old, you've already used up many of those weeks. So you'll have around 3,640 weeks left in the best case scenario. So please don't waste your life. Monitor what you're doing every day and make sure you're growing and you're happy. I recently made a video on how to level up your daily routine. You can click on the card on the screen right there to watch that. If you like this video, you'll probably like that video even more. And don't forget to check out this video sponsor Sansama, link in the description below.